What's going on guys? If you don't know who I am, my name's Eric Mooney, and yes, I purposely have the lighting trash right now so you guys can see my new Hoyt sign, but in today's video we are going to be putting on the Bomar Archery Grip Tape and kind of doing a review on it. So, hope you guys enjoy, make sure you stay tuned. All right, so of course we have the Hoyt Vortex, my new bow this year. We also got a shipment from bomararchery.com. I think that's the website name. I don't know. If you guys are big in the industry, hunting industry, you probably know who he is um, anyway. But I went ahead and actually ordered two items because if you order two items, you get free shipping. So I not only ordered the bow tape, the flow green, of course, but I also ordered the small Bomar bottle, this is for arrow building, you put um, acetone in it and it helps clean the arrow shaft, so I ordered that too. But anyway, let's go ahead and open this up. Josh has a really good video on his channel for putting on the tape and everything, so if you really want to know on like how to put it on and everything, that's what I'd go watch. I'm going to do it the first way he recommended doing it, but... I am not a professional. Okay, so we pulled it out of the bag there. They send you this little tape to help secure it. So let's go ahead and unravel it once we get this first little piece of tape off. Alright, so plenty of material. He actually sends you enough for two wrappings. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to take this first set of um, plastic coating off. I need to start from the other side. Three days later. Alright, well I got it about halfway down. Hopefully that's enough. If I'm being completely honest, which that's my job when doing these reviews, uh, I do think that's a little bit of a pain, but I do know that it's for a good reason, and that's to try to keep the dust off of it. So, hopefully I got enough undone here. Um, let's go ahead and turn the bow just a touch. Alright, so if I understand right, there's plenty of ways to try to do this, but number one, you want to start out undoing just a bit of this and pull off whatever that is. Alright, so you want to pull off just a bit of this, and then the first way that I saw him do it, you start something like that, I believe. Actually, I'm going to start it here at the back so I don't see that top tag in. And then he said you want to peel this back as you go. This is where the Hoyt risers are kind of a pain in the butt, but you gotta try to get it through here and everything. really good grip so I'd say out of the package it's gonna be frustrating and hard probably not your favorite thing to do but it seems like once you actually get on the bow 
it looks a little wrinkly and stuff, but I mean, it feels good. So I like that. That grip is actually really nice. So I'd say it's definitely worth that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take the bow out and shoot a little bit and uh, we'll get the drone up and everything too. We'll probably actually film that first and then film after a few shots how it feels and everything and we'll see how we did. Well, apologies on the running water. We got an old house. When the water's running, you can just, it screams through the house, sorry. But anyway, um, I've shot this tape for a few days now. Yeah, and um, I'm actually falling in love with it. Now, to be completely honest with you guys, that's my job doing these kind of things. I didn't like it at first. I thought it was too annoying pulling off that tape or the, like the cover on top and everything. And it didn't stick right. But I went ahead and the next day I redid the tape. Now this time when I redid it, obviously you can just see that it looks a lot better. But when I redid it this time, I went ahead and I didn't really worry so much about getting it uh, overlapping perfectly. And instead I started it, wrapped it around once and then I'd pull it tight because it's that stretchy material. So I pulled it tight and then I just kind of let it go where it wanted to go. And I think it turned out way better. The front looks better, all the sides look better. Um, it feels better in the hand. Obviously the grip is great and I think over time there's going to start to be um, you know where your hands kind of are pushing into the bow that's going to start to eventually slowly mold your hand shape so then over time as you shoot eventually it's going to just be able to stick in the exact same spot over time and that's as an archer we need everything to be consistent. You can shoot a bow with terrible form honestly and if you keep doing it over and over again and you get consistent shots, it's fine. So as an archer, you want everything to be the same. So as um, your hand mold starts fitting in there, you're gonna start, it's gonna start to fit perfectly and you're gonna get the same grip pressure every time. Um, the only thing I don't really like about it now is if you really listen, you guys aren't gonna be able to hear it, but sometimes you press it and it, you can hear the stick kind of come off and I don't really care about that, but other than it's gonna make noise and you know, who knows if the deer are going to hear it. Out here where I hunt, though, I mean, we always got some sort of wind, so they aren't going to be able to hear that. But, you know, for maybe some Midwestern people where it's just dead quiet middle of winter and you're hunting, that might not be it. But with that, on a cold day, even with your gloves, you're going to be able to grip this bow great. And then lastly, I think it just makes the bow look amazing. So that's a big plus. I'm a big color guy. These strings have really been annoying me because they're gray. I want them green, but... I'm going to wait till next year to replace them. So, anyway, that's the Belmont Archery Tape. Give it a chance. I didn't like it to start with. Now that's on there, I've been shooting it for a while. I'm in love with it. So, if you're going to get this, give it a chance. And with that being said, make sure you subscribe to my channel, like the video. Right now, we got past 100 subscribers. We're at like 108 or something. Um, so, it's taken a long time to get here, probably about a year and a half. Um, that's really slow for an average YouTuber, but you know what? You guys are great. I love the support that you do give me. But if you're new, please consider subscribing. Like the video. Leave me a comment down in the comment section below. I love talking to you guys. So until next time, Eric Mooney, out.